Today is a beautiful day, and it's one of the most beautiful days that we have had in a long time, and rather than let that go to waste, today we're gonna film a yo-yo video. Yes. Try. So, first things first, filming a yo-yo video, obviously, you need a camera. Or, if you can swing it, two cameras. So the reason why we prefer to shoot with two cameras is because you have all of your bases covered. With the 24 to 70 lens, we're gonna be able to zoom in and get like our close angles covered, which is awesome. With this camera, we've got just a 24 wide angle lens on it. The best part about this camera though is that it can shoot in 60 frames a second at 1080, which means that we want this to be our center shot, the wide angle, the nice classic yo-yo video angle that also can get really cool slow-mo. So besides just cameras, you're definitely gonna need a tripod. And a tripod is really good for just having that static still shot especially if you're shooting in slow-mo. It's okay to have one handheld camera because it does have a nice effect for some things, but definitely gonna wanna get a good tripod to lock down that camera. This one's optional, but one thing that can be really nice if you're shooting indoors is a light panel. And we're gonna be shooting outside right here, so we're not really worried about it, but this is something that you can pick up for 25 to 30 bucks, and it's gonna be able to give you that light bounce off of the yo-yo string, separate the foreground from the background if you're shooting inside or in low light conditions. So these can be essential as well. It's also incredibly helpful to have a friend with you to help man the cameras, pull focus, things like that. This is Sean. So, we got our cameras, we got our tripods, we got our lights, and we got our friends. Let's go shoot a yo-yo video. A7S locked down on the tripod. 24 millimeter on here. It's a 1.4 lens. We're shooting at 2.8. We don't really need that depth of field right now or that shallow depth of field. It's also pretty bright. And uh, most lenses are a teeny bit sharper if they're stopped down. Stopped up? Yeah. <laughs> stopped up. So 2.8 sharper than 1.4, generally. <laughs> yeah. Over here we got our 5D Mark III, 24 to 70 on this guy. This one we're punching in at about 50 millimeters for our like accent shot get a little bit zoomed into the action compared to our wide over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got our setup. Everything was looking good. Unfortunately, we got some like thunder coming in, so we're a little worried about getting rained out. Other than that though, everything's looking good. I think we're gonna just start shooting. The return top that I'm gonna be using today is the Peak 2. So we're making a Peak 2 video. Fun. <laughs> Alright, we just finished shooting. Went pretty well. Pretty smooth. It's the first time I've filmed in a long time, so some of the tricks are a little shaky. It feels good. It looks good. So, we're all done for now. At least for shooting. We have a bunch of editing to do. Okay. So we have all of the footage imported into Premiere. We moved it all over to his computer. Sean is editing now. We've got all of the clips synced up and everything. We're just kind of putting it to music now and figuring out how we want it to look. I'm taking all of this footage and all of that footage and putting it together in a vlog in the other room. So we're just gonna be busy here for a little while. How's it coming? It's going along. Slowly. Always know it's in your render queue. <laughs> I just rendered so much unnecessary junk. There we go. What is that? What is that right there? That is a mistake. <laughs> Damn it. You know what that mistake is? It's probably right in front of me. Why don't you think that that should... Maybe this one also. Oh, the joys of editing. We want H.264, because that's what all delivery on the internet is going to be standardized at. Peak 2 test. All right, so we are exporting a 1920 by 1080 H.264 MP4 
in 23,976 frames per second, even though we were mixing and matching frame rates. We're gonna export final at 23,976 for that cinematic look. Bitrate settings, we're gonna go eight megabits per second because that's what YouTube's gonna down or downsample to anyways. Audio, 44 kilohertz, blah, 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 all that, all that jazz. This is gonna take a while. A few moments later. All right, so we exported once and we took a watch. We took some notes, figured out kind of what we needed to do a little bit better. We had a couple issues with color temperature matching between the two different image sensors. We got Canon and Sony. A little bit different color science going on between the two sensors. I think that after that first pass, we made a few changes and we got at least a color temperature look pretty seamless across the board. Mess with some transitions a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're definitely ready for a second export. Hopefully this one's gonna be a lot closer to the final. Yeah.